Jury selection begins today in Chicago for R. Kelly's second federal trial, this one focusing on child pornography. The R&B singer is facing 13 charges in his hometown. Now, this case includes allegations from several women that he lured them into sex acts when they were minors. The new trial comes about two months after Kelly was handed a 30-year prison sentence on separate federal charges. He is denied all wrongdoing. Joining us now is NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Uh, Danny, first off, how is this this Illinois case really going to differ from the one that we already have seen in New York, where he got that 30-year sentence. What's the difference here? Uh, there's going to be a lot of similarities, but strangely, the most connections that this Illinois case has uh, is with his 2008 Illinois case, in which he was acquitted. And there's going to be a lot of the same evidence in this case, including the videos of the alleged child pornography. The mm -hmm. difference this time around, and the reason that it's not barred by double jeopardy is that these are different charges. For example, he's now charged with obstruction of justice for uh, allegedly trying to prevent uh, witnesses from coming forward. So a lot of the similar conduct, but in this case, uh, a, uh, a separate allegations, separate crimes charge. And separate evidence. So what's next? They select the jury. How long do we ex expect this trial to last, Danny? Mm -hmm. And does he just go basically from prison to the courtroom? Exactly right. I mean, he goes from prison to the courtroom, and then the jury is supposed to client. You want them to be in a suit. So you get him out of the prison orange and put him into a suit, but then they go back into the room, and, uh, and they get uh, changed back in their uh, prison blues or oranges or whatever. And uh, other than that, yes, he's going to be transported to and from for this trial. It's, uh, it, it's a federal trial. They generally move relatively quickly. But in any high profile case, you have to take into consideration things that you wouldn't have in normal cases. That'll slow down a trial. There may still be some COVID uh, concerns that slow trials down. But generally speaking, federal court's going to move pretty quickly. Hey, Danny, I'm not sure if you can still hear us. We were taking a hit there on our IFB, but uh, I want to talk about that state trial from 2008. For people who've been watching this from the beginning and, and those even who were captivated by the documentary Surviving R. Kelly, which for a lot of people was the first time they were seeing these allegations and hearing from the women's families. I mean, it seems like there are all these different trials, right? We've seen Illinois, we've seen New York, and then there was that state trial from 2008. Is oh, yeah. that playing a role in this trial now? And if so, what is the connection between the two? In theory, it shouldn't play a role because a jury is told, don't consider any of the other things you've heard about R. Kelly, only judge him on these uh, crimes that he's charged with. But realistically, R. Kelly's been charged in courts all over the country, mm -hmm. state and federal. So the jury has to be considering that on some level. And indeed, just knowing about his other legal problems doesn't disqualify them as jurors. It's The question is whether or not the jury, in light of what they know about R. Kelly, can still be fair and impartial. But I mean, that is going to be a challenge uh, for any defense attorney to seat a jury in these cases because he's just had so much negative publicity. Uh, and again, with the 2008 case is was an acquittal, and yet you're still having some of the same allegations, the same conduct coming mm -hmm. into this case, which is an interesting double jeopardy issue. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to raise that on appeal if this is a conviction. Mm. All right, NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos for us there. Danny, as always, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.